Hi everyone, I'm April and you're watching The Tangled Cat Speaks. Um, today, I'd just like to get started by first saying Happy Veterans Day. Um, I'd like to wish um, all of the veterans and their families a huge thank you for your service and for sacrifice for those who have served in the past and who are currently still serving. Um, I couldn't be more thankful for the choice that you have made to protect our country. So again, happy Veterans Day and um, be safe and God bless you and all your family so much. Okay, so um, I'm super, super excited. This piece of hair is bugging me because it's like trying to stab me in the eye. <laughs> so I'm super excited. I finally, finally got my bee socks done heels and everything super excited so i think i mentioned that i had given my notes um to my friend to try to test knit um she's done that <laughs> sorry i'm a little bit nervous about it because it's i wasn't sure that i wanted to do a sock pattern but she was able to make a beautiful sock, and I'm going to go ahead and put in a picture here of what she did. She used a, a beautiful combination of colors, and I love it. Um, so I think that um, I just need to do a few little tweaks to my notes and, um, you know, spice it up a little bit just to make it more, well, maybe not spice it up. That's kind of weird. Um, but you know make it into a pattern a more of a pattern format and add some pictures and stuff like that so um, I can get that published and Upload it onto Ravelry. So that's exciting. So bee socks coming soon Be on the lookout um, I am the tangled cat on Ravelry And I'm not gonna put this for very much maybe a couple bucks just because it is only one um stitch count um the lace pattern is only can only be used on a 36 is a 36 jeez i can't speak the lace pattern is for um 36 stitches so it works out for a 72 stitch sock um so the only way to upsize or downsize this is to change your gauge and or um and or your weight of yarn so I'm not going to charge very much for this because it's not something it's not the kind of pattern that can be used for a wide range of people and you know and really I'm not looking to make a whole lot of money off of my patterns I I'm really not I just I just want to put it out there um, but I do think that it is worth my effort to charge a couple of bucks so it's, it's literally two dollars so um so I'm super excited about that I just got to get that all squared away and it'll be there yay super super excited and I think because I am was basically bumbling through this entire process of making these socks I am gonna call these my bumbling bees socks super super excited so next thing um, I was I have been working on my three color cashmere cowl not in cashmere <laughs> i've been doing it in knit pick stroll and i am finally to the point where i'm done with the striping and i am about to add the third color um so i'll, I'll go real quick through the colors that i've used so far that like i said they're all um knit picks stroll fingering and this is Agate Heather. And I lost the, do um, the the ball band to this, but this was Dogwood Heather. And then this one that I'm going to be adding now is Duchess Heather. So super excited to see what the purple, how the purple goes with the rest. So I think it'll be an interesting pop of color. Very excited with that. I actually got quite a bit done on this. The last time I showed this, I was down here. So little by little, I, slowly but surely, 
Uh, it's getting done. And it went, I, I did most of this after I finished these socks. So there you go. Super excited about that. Um, I want to hurry up and get that done. I did mention last time that I started some socks for the brown bag in at sock club already for November and I don't have them to show you they're still put away because I really only did the cuff on that one so far it was the black non superwash wool um, I think it's called Tex Reina um, that I got when I was in a knitting retreat in Vermont a couple of years ago so I, I haven't really worked on that too much but now that I got the bee socks done and I'm almost done with this cowl I'm definitely focusing on that I'd like to get those two things done this month as well as the cowl which I have right here and I haven't worked on since I first showed you the the two color brioche cowl that I'm working on with the two yarns that I had over dyed it's literally it's still oh it's all tangled look at that mess it's still in its very early beginning stages um this is the I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't even want to try I think it's Vietnamese the name um but I'll put it here and that's the one I'm making for my daughter she never requests knitted projects for me that are not black or gray so this is very exciting for me um so I, I want to get those three things done this month because in December I'm not 100% positive that I'm going to be doing the last brown bagging at sock club draw which I feel like that's kind of like I have to because ugh, I've already done the other 11 I might as well get the the 12th one done but the only reason why I'm kind of on the fence about it is because I have decided to finally I showed you all a few episodes ago all of the yarns that I had gotten ready so that I can now in December work on the shawl by Amba O'Brien called Adventurous. And it was the advent pattern that she had done last year. So this was my booga bag filled with all my minis that I've gotten ready for that. But now, now she went and did another advent pattern for this year. So I don't want to buy a, a mini skein set because I just don't, right now it's just not feasible with the holidays coming and gifts and, and everything. Um, I don't think it's feasible for me to buy new yarn for the second one, but I do want to work on it. So my plan is to work on both Advent wraps at the same time so I would do one color each day for each shawl so that would be two little minis each day so what I do have and I have tons of um, multicolored yarns and stuff but I kind of already have plans for some of that most of that actually and I just don't really feel like trying to go through and find the perfect combination because they were all um, random singles that I just bought here and there and it was hard doing this one <laughs> it was so hard getting all of these minis and trying to get them in the right order and get them to flow so what I decided to do instead because I did also mention a while back that I have tons of um, acrylic yarn it's the Hirschner's two ply afghan yarn and this is one of them and it's actually a sport weight, but I have at least one of every color, except for their multicolor. I have one of every solid that they have. Um, and actually recently they just had, I just looked at it, it had been a couple of years since I looked because I knew I had them all. I hadn't gone to the Hirschner's web, website and, and looked, but I just recently did because um, I was showing a friend of mine this yarn and how good it worked on a couple of lace shawls that I had done in the past and I was very pleased with how this particular yarn actually even though it's acrylic knits up and blocks really well in simple lace patterns um so I was showing a friend about that and I was like oh they have more colors so I I had to order them because you know I had to have the full set so I have tons of it 
Um, so I went through and was able to find 25 colors in an order that I liked for the um, Adventurer shawl and wrap pattern for um, by Amba O'Brien. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a photo up here of the progression that I'm going to be using. Now because it's sport weight, I'm obviously going to have to use more yarn than what she specified because I'm going to have to go up a needle size or two to get the right drape. Um, so my mine is probably going to end up way huge because it looks like in the photos that this wrap is already huge to begin with unless I do the scarf but I don't know we'll see we'll see what my when I cast on what the stitch count you know how wide it ends up being um so I don't know if I'm going to actually end up doing the scarf or the wrap but even if I do the scarf it's going to be big enough as a wrap I think because I'm doing it in the sport weight so anyways um so I'm not going to go through individually each and every color right now I kind of want to though <laughs> But um, I do have the progression up here. Or should I just show you? I feel like I should just show you because it's cool. No, I it's the photo. I'm not going to do it. Because it's just going to take too much time and you can see the, the progression. So I'm super excited about it. Um, I think it's going to turn out really pretty. And I'm going to be using a whole lot of my stash. So I'm very, very excited about that. So let's see, if crossing my fingers, if I can work on both Advent shawls. At the same time, keep on track every day doing like one color from each. I think it'll work out. Um, the only thing that might be pushed aside is going to be the last brown bag in its sock club sock, which I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if the sock is going to happen. I feel like I should just finish out the year because I did the whole entire year of a sock a month with that group and... I can, it kind of feels like I'm copying out if I don't do the last one. So maybe I'll just make a shorty pair of socks and leave it at that. But we'll see. So that's that. I did get recently a gift. Um, it's a crocheted gift, and I'm super excited about it. Um, I've always wanted to try making one of these, but I never have. It's just one of those, like, I don't think about it until I see somebody with one or I see somebody making one and I'm like, oh, I should do that. But I got one and I didn't even have to make it. So it's really cool. It's crochet. It's a lovely tote bag. And it's all out of the plastic store bags. So very, very cool. I don't know what stores, but I like the, the color blocking that she's got going on here. So very, very interesting. So this is given to be, but to me, excuse me, I'm kind of stuffy. I feel like I might be coming down with something. Um, definitely going to have to go make me some rose tea later. <laughs> but anyway, so I got this from my son's girlfriend's grandmother it's just so fun and cool and right now I have shawls and hats and scarves and everything that I take to my son's football games because it's so cold <laughs> so um you know that's where all of that stuff is living so I can take it easily to the football games so it came it came in super handy and I love it perfect <laughs> so now it really makes me want to get all of those bags that I have just piling up and make something out of them excuse me I feel really really stuffy and I'm gonna have to take a decongestant or something but I really really don't want to get sick it's terrible um but I know that my immune system is a little bit down right now because this week well this past couple of weeks actually um today is the last day of this pay week or this pay period it's it's a two-week pay period today is the last day and in the last two weeks, I've worked my normal 80 hours plus 36 hours of overtime. And Friday night and last night, I had to work in the middle of the night, which I don't do. I'm a day shift person, but they were shorthanded and um, 
I ended up having to go in Friday night at one o'clock in the morning and stay till 10 in the morning. And last night I went in at two in the morning and got off this morning at six. So I wasn't even trying to beautify myself today because I literally have had three hours of sleep. Um, but I think that that's why my immune system is kind of down and um, I'm just tired. And <laughs> I have also been very, very emotional. I get like that when I'm really, really tired. Um, this is, I don't know if you've ever been so tired and anybody who works shift work will probably know, but I have been at some points in my um, dispatcher career where I have been so tired that I literally feel hung over. Like I just can't get enough sleep because I'm just going from shift to shift to shift and I'm just exhausted. That's the worst that it's ever been is that hungover feeling and my head is just kind of fuzzy and my stomach is upset and my everything is woozy. I haven't gotten there yet, thank goodness, but I am like just a step above that to where everything makes me want to cry. Literally everything. I burst into tears the other day. Thank goodness I was here at home. But I was here knitting. My mom had just gone to bed and um, my son had made arrangements to go spend the weekend with his friends. And my other kids are, of course, grown and out of the house already. They've been out of the house for quite a while. But I was just feeling like, oh, my gosh, empty nest. And my, my youngest is almost going to graduate. And, oh, I just still went on. It snowballed from there. And I was a big sobbing mess I was just crying here in my living room in my knitting chair not knitting just crying and I knew it I knew it was because I was tired I knew I wasn't like gonna be like this forever but it felt like it in the moment you know it was it was crazy so I've been kind of dealing with that and it'll be fine I'll be fine I can do it I can push it aside and go to work and get my shifts covered and do what I gotta do but I think it is taking the toll on my body because I do feel like I'm trying to fight something off. So I'm going to go take some emergency. I'm going to drink some tea. <laughs> I'm going to rest as much as I possibly can. So one of the things that I wanted to show you is this yarn that I got from the Lily Thistle. I actually got five of these. Um, I have been watching several podcasts and they have all mentioned, well, not all of them, some of them have mentioned this Let Lopi yarn. Most recently, I think I heard it mentioned on the Fiber Tales podcast. And I'm sorry, I can't pronounce her name. Um, but she mentioned this recently. And I got this colorway. It, the colorway isn't on here, at least not in English. And I can't remember what the website said the colorway was. Um, but it's kind of a bluey, pinky color. And... I, on the screen when I ordered it, I thought it was a little more gray with just like speckles of pinks and blues here and there, but it, it, it ended up being a little more pink and blue and less gray. So what I want to do is at some point order some Aloft from Knit Picks in their silver colorway, which is a lighter gray, and um, hopefully I can um, gray this up just a little bit so that's not quite as pastel. But it's still beautiful. I really do like it. It's quite a, a rustic yarn. A little bit scratchy, but not unbearably so. And I think that the mohair is really going to soften this up. So I think that's what I'm going to do at some point is order that from Knit Picks. Um, that's really all I have right now as far as new acquisitions. I do have some other things coming in that I will probably be getting within the next few days. So I will go ahead and show you that next time. But, yeah, that's all I've got right now. Um, I am just now starting um, the book, The Moving Finger by Agatha Christie. Just now getting into it, and I don't recall that I've read this one. I feel like I have, because the name seems familiar, but so far the first few pages are un unfamiliar to me. So, I'm going to keep going. It seems exciting already, so... I just started that. Um, what else? My mom and I just watched that movie. It's called Winchester. It's kind of a horror film with Helen Mirren about a house that's got a lot of weird rooms and 
scary things happen. Um, it's really good. It I really enjoyed it. It's not as scary as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine. It was still a really good story, and I adore Helen Mirren. I think she is just fabulous. Love her, so I was very excited to watch that. Um, still slowly but surely watching Rain, season three. I think there's four seasons. I've been watching that. Um, haven't really been watching a whole lot else. I've been doing um, a lot of catching up on some podcasts that I've kind of slacked off lately. Um, so I've, I've been doing that mostly. That's I haven't really been doing a whole lot of TV watching. So that's really all that's been going on this week. Plus, Thanksgiving is coming. I do have to work on Thanksgiving, which is a bummer. It's going to be the first Thanksgiving in a few years that I've had to work Thanksgiving. So I used to have Thursdays off regularly, but this year I don't. So uh, my family, my, my children, we have decided to go ahead and do our Thanksgiving the following Sunday. So I will give you guys a little bit of an update then because I'll be podcasting that day as well, hopefully, in, in between basting the turkey and whatnot. So um, we'll be doing that Sunday, but my sister is doing hers on Thanksgiving. So my kids am, are going to be taking my mom to my sister's house on Thursday. As soon as I get out of work, I'm going to head on over there and pick over some of the leftovers and spend time with my sister. So that'll be fun. Um, so with that being said, since Thanksgiving is going to be here before I see you all again, I wish you all a Thanksgiving. Um, I wish you all a Thanksgiving. I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and just know that I am so thankful for you all as well as everything else that I do have to be thankful about. I am so thankful for all of you who choose to spend your time, a little bit of your time visiting with me and spending, sharing these moments of me rambling on and not knowing anything that I'm about to say, so I sound silly. <laughs> But thank you. Thank you for coming and watching me. And um, I appreciate it so much. And I will see you all next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Veterans Day. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Into rounds and getting lighter and lighter from there into sort of rounds into yellows and then a pretty bright gold on the end.